think you should I go lie. Today, a little cardio, whatever. You really got to me. Let's see if he's shot. How much I'm sweating? He probably don't shot. But, uh, yeah, I'm really out of shape. Even though people may not be as big, I'm still out of shape. Might not be as big to some people, but I'm I'm big and I'm out of shape. This was hard. I did three sets and it was hard. That's all right. Gotta do what we gotta do. Can't give up. What's up, J Riders? It's your girl Justina. I'm back with another video. Y'all, I'm in the car with my Risha and Kai. They just picked me up and um after looking at this car, we it, back at this car wash because we just not satisfied. And I tried to get them the benefit of the doubt by reimbursing me half my money and they keep half. But at this point, I need my other, I need Another my other, other half, half back. back. Like, because look at the seat. seat. Now, because you know, our hair and stuff like that, we got grease, grease stain, and lotion on the arm. How is how, it even worth 150? How is it look still looking like that after a detail? And then let me show you this little arm rest back here. Look at that armrest. That little stain. Like they didn't even they, they try. They didn't even try to clean yeah. it up. So and at this point, yeah. This ain't oh, no this go. ain't even worth no 150. And I'ma ask them people. This is why I want to be like, I'm going to ask them, would you pay $150 for this? No, this is what we got to ask them. Would they pay $150 for this? Yeah. Come on, keep the camera rolling. <laughs> I need my mask, don't I? Look at the doors. They just, everything nasty. Yeah. For uh, the car wash place. Oh. Um, yesterday I had came and got a detail. I think I was right after I left, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so there was something with the seats, right? And they gave her half her money back, but she's not satisfied. Money back because I felt like, okay, well, if y'all try, you know, I would be y'all. But they didn't even. Look at the armrest back there too. Yeah, it's hot. Got food all in here still. Like, that's crazy. Look, he didn't, they, I, we told him about it. He still didn't even do nothing about it. He just cleaned that out. <laughs> then, the, you know, the baby put his feet up here. Look at this. This skin marks from his shoes still here. Like, I 
have paid $150 for this. Yeah. If she should be charged anything, it should be a car wash. That's how I feel. This ain't worth no 150 Huh, baby? You see that? See what? What? What you showing me? Okay. Come over here. It's too hot to be out here. Yeah, this is crazy. We're back here again. This is the seats and stuff just don't look bad. It look like it needs shout out. Some type of stain remover or something. It is hot as hell out here in the sun. It's hot. Should we stay in the car while you go in there? If you want. Mommy. You want to get something? To, oh, yeah. it don't matter. Mommy. Oh, okay. Mommy. What? You want to go in the car, baby? Yeah. Or you want to go with mommy? <laughs> Well, let's go with mommy. I guess we go with mommy. <laughs> Let me turn my little camera. All right, so. We're on our way inside now. It's hot as hell. It's not even a hot time of the year yet, girl. I know. <laughs> Come on, baby. What you want? Some juice? You want some juice, Kai? Um. Do you want it? Do you want it? Oh, look at this. This look. You want it? <laughs> Wait. Do you want it? They got some apple juice, but I don't know if you drink apple juice. But no, it's girly. It's girly juice. He don't need no girly juice. Need a, uh, Gatorade or okay. Okay. Uh, let me see what else kind of. Oh, I know what to get. Simply, yeah. Get it. You want? Oh, he wants the candy. <laughs> Mommy. Oh, sorry. Alright, so we So he said the best thing for them seats is probably steaming or they just is over with. Or let them get too bad. Like, like stained in there. I, mean, I still I want to try. I do want to try. Like, I could ask somebody, the person that do the, do the truck. No, put that, no, back. Put that back. So, um, when we leave here, we're on our way to get something to eat. Um, eating healthy. But I can't let my little workouts go to waste now. Day is hard. Like, it's hard to lose weight. I can't let my little workout. That was hard workout today. Thank you so much. He's a nice guy. Alright. Thank you. And then I'ma um pay cash for this. 
Y'all get keep Kai some um. I know, but when we came back, this is like we said this ain't worth it. Like you see the car, you'll be like, what? <laughs> Yeah. Baby, put that back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's Okay. Yeah. So we're on our way to get something to eat. Like I said, something healthy. I got taste for salmon or fish or something. Um, Marisha was gonna um, cook, but yeah. Thank you. So, um, I should have got me a water. Just the man that said I'm too late. <laughs> Alright, so she ended up getting her other half of her money back, which is good because Here. it wasn't worth. It wasn't worth 300 and definitely wasn't worth. He needed to, he needed to get his hands um sanitized. It wasn't worth 300 and definitely wasn't worth 150. So, she got her money back and um now we're headed to go get something to eat. I'm hungry. I got taste for some fish. And then we seen Cracker Bear. We was like, "Oh, Cracker Bear because the truth be told, Cracker Bear's got some good food too. Their, their grilled fish is good with macaroni cheese. Girl, we can pay a crackhead $50 for clean this. <laughs> they get down and dirty. Shit, exactly. You know how many people back in Milwaukee that had this motherfucker speak span? Shit. And that would, it would cost you $20. Twenty. Like, I get you some beer, cigarettes. Exactly. A four, give me a, ma'am. Can I get a four pack, twenty dollars, and a pack of cigarettes? Yeah. Be that, your shit be so motherfucking crystal clear. You be like fuck. Yeah. It's hard when you away from home and you used to like, you know, you could pull up in the alley, get your brakes changed in Milwaukee. Somebody charged ten dollars, change your brakes, man. I'm telling you, we move out of town somewhere. It's like you don't find them people no more. It's different. Now I feel much better. At least we got a free car wash. <laughs> like that means anything is so dusty here. Them people act like they ain't want to get your money back yesterday. Oh no, yesterday. Oh, he knew he was getting my money back. Look at that. You know, it's our our hair and all that stuff. I didn't think but about I've been told her that she should have been got this car detailed. People our hair, lotion. Like, you can't let it, these 10 seats, you can't let them get like this because they will get stuck. It need be stains that can't come out. But it is stains in here that can come out, like the little Yeah. Stuff. Them kind of stuff. I don't know about this, but. Nah. I think it needs some damn OxyClean or some damn shout out. If it, if we get stains out our you fucking clothes. You get a steamer clones. at Walmart, we get some soap and water to do it ourselves. <laughs> Get a steamer and take and return it. Y'all, my allergies and stuff. My, my my asthma been bothering me. My damn chest hurt. I woke up this morning. Oh, let me look over. I had woke you. Oh, she finna look up the food place. I I'm, uh, woke up this morning, y'all, like six o'clock this morning. Couldn't sleep for nothing because my breathing, my breathing, my breathing. It makes me think about it because my chest still hurt. Man, I might end up having to go to urgent care. I ain't gonna lie. What they gonna do? Put you on a ventilator? Um, I think I need prednisone. Some, some steroid sad. pills. Why? Cause my, my chest tight. The prednisone help open it up. It's like a fresh start. Like I need some Can steroid. Can you get that from Walmart? Like Walmart? No, it would have to be a prescription. prescription. Well, you better go cause you was just talking about it, but you better do it. So your stuff can help you. Yeah, it's my damn chest on Chances. I know. Once I'm allergic to some allergies, I stay away. Like, I'm not even risk myself. Being in the house with a dog is not going to pass out while you sleep. Been the lungs, been the fucking Chest collapse. Chest Can't be doing that. It's allergies for a reason. 
Stay away from it. That's like Malik he eating seafood. Yeah. It's gonna blow up. Like face gonna be red, eyes itchy. Break out. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Could okay. cause him to the collapse. Alright guys, we're on our way to grab something to eat. I'll um come back when we get there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up have to end up going to urgent care. I ain't gonna lie. It's crazy how my hair like remember I was cute last night. Did you put me on your vlog last night? <laughs> Girl, show didn't. Girl, I was so cute. Why girl. I didn't put you on there for I left? Now I'm looking like and but listen, I just got my eyebrows done. I saw my that. My nails done. That's I'm not vlogging today, but cause I'm bummy. I don't like vlogging when I'm bummy. I'm bummy. <laughs> girl. Man, I worked out. I was worked out today this morning while I was on the phone with my region. Man, I was sweating like a mud. You know, really, all you can do is run. You can run a lap around your thing because it's so hot. You gonna sweat, girl. It was so much, and it was hot. And it's like my breath. First of all, my lungs so damn tight. It's irritating. And then on top of that, I was working out, girl. I barely. I feel like I was about to pass out. Now <laughs> it be shake. Y'all don't understand. Like. Maybe next time, the next time I work out, I'm gonna show y'all how many degrees it is. Cause y'all don't understand. Y'all looking at no, me. No, show them, look. Okay, let me show y'all. Look at this, what's in the car? We not playing, they not playing out here. I need better settings on my phone. I mean, on my thing. So it's 116 degrees right now. It's hot as hell. When we got out the car, I heard the baby was like, it's hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you know if, uh, a uh, little kid mm -hmm. says hot, you know, damn where it's hot, cause they don't, you know, stuff don't be it's bothering like, them. It's so hot, you you know, hot weather, you wanna get in the pool and go to water parks, but it's so hot here, you can't do that. You have to wait till the sun go down. You have to wait. Or, cause you will burn. You will yes, literally you burn. burn. In the ground. I remember one time I went to the water park, the ground, you know how you put your uh, sandals in the locker with everything in locker. The ground was so hot, you know, we was hopping around looking for shadows <laughs> on the ground. So we can walk. We like we gotta go back and get our sandals. You gotta swim and put your put them through your arms. You can't even take your dog out for a walk here. Mm -hmm. People take their dog out for a walk um, at nighttime. Let me tell you something. At nighttime is when you see a lot of families walking with their kids, um, couples pushing their babies in the stroller. You see uh, people walking their dog. You would never see anybody walk their dog during the day, unless they're homeless. Homeless people you have animals. I don't know how they make it out here. I really don't know. What? You barely can feed yourself. I don't know how the hell you can feed somebody eat. else. So yeah, we gotta eat. go to McDonald's for him. Yeah, I, he like. I think he like McDonald's nuggets. McDonald's butt nuggets are good. But that's the only thing he eat. Then everybody be in the comments. Do y'all cook? Why is you worried about it? He's a picky eater. I mean, like, do I gotta keep explaining my son to y'all? <laughs> do you cook? Like, am I asking you how you feeding your family? No matter how we gonna eat, we gonna eat. Mm -hmm. No matter if it's bought, cooked. This baby is picky. Only thing he like is chicken nuggets. We don't know why. We we into try to introduce him to food so many times. Y'all don't have no clue what we try to do. It's times that we try to hold him. Hold him tight. And force try to force him to take. Up. And he would throw up. He would gag and act like Yes. Like, so we just let him be. If we try it, he'll tell you right away, no. He don't. Now, I understand YouTube, you know, it's for everybody to leave their opinions and whatever the case may be. But w when I watch YouTube videos, I'm never a commenter. Mm -hmm. What about you? I just watch. I comment like, sometimes. I be like, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's nice. You know? I don't ever comment. Like, if I feel like if I got to say something, I just say, it, you know, whoever mm -hmm. I'm watching, I'll be like, dang. Like, or if I yeah, if it's some crap, I'm like, now why in the world would she do that? Mm -hmm. I may say it to somebody yeah, I know like, about it. But I'm not finna be like, oh, your son did da, da, da. Like, I'm not finna tell you what you need to do with your kid. Never. Because at the end of the day, I don't live in your household, so I can't. My opinion don't matter. Right. Look, look at Damo. Damo and her son. And he, she said he's artistic. I never once in my in Artistic? My, what is he? Autism? Autism. <laughs> artistic, that's a painter, ain't it? <laughs> Artist is <hard. laughs> But you said artistic. I don't so know. So I'm thinking artistic is a. What is that? Artist. Artistic? 
did I ask? Autism. Okay, so like Damo, uh here on YouTube, her baby's uh, autism, but not once have I ever said anything or would ever say anything. Yes, cool. look, artistic is a skill. Told you like uh, painting. Well, it could be more than that, but it's just, it's, that's what I thought. Okay. See? But I knew when you said I knew that wasn't me, because I'm like, ooh, she just say anything. They don't know the half of it. <laughs> oh, zero should, degrees. You know what we should do? Go in uh, play those closets. People go in there and sell all their designer stuff. Oh, oh never yeah. Mind. I forgot, never mind. We homeless. We can't. You ain't homeless. I'm homeless. But they go in there and sell their design. That's why I used to get plenty of rocks. Miss me. True, True religion. religion. When I first moved out here. I remember I went to Pluto. If you don't know Pluto's. Plato's. Plato's closet is like a, a Goodwill. But it's like a higher high end. end. Yeah. People go in there and take their good stuff. Well, do y'all have a Plato's closet by y'all? Because we do have one in Wisconsin. But I think it was out in Brookfield or something. I went I went once there. Mm -hmm. I think I went once here. We should see what's in there. It don't hurt the money. Might grab some sandals. Some might chill. be a bag in there. That oh, see, ain't no bag. Pre love bag nah, in there. Not the one. <laughs> mm. Might be a pre love bag in there. Louis, they might want a hundred dollars. Oh, I bet that. Huh, baby? I bet that. What? Oh uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what are you handing you a booger? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I like to say. He said booger. What? I bet it. Huh? It's blue. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed. Oh my God, this baby is so funny. With that juice? Yeah, that's your juice. Oh, you want your juice? Open it. You gotta open it. Yeah, taking the lights so long. So, anyways, we got him some. Um, so we got him some juice and um, chocolate covered peanuts. He picked it out. He know them damn peanuts, and he know them Skittles. He's not like one of those kids that just run up and grab anything. Either. And guess what? The restaurant right next to it. Y'all live. So we should we go to play those first? Yeah, let's go in there because we want to sit down and eat, right? Yeah. I want to sit down and enjoy my food. Yeah. Oh, we could park right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes, now if I order Cheesecake Factory, that's cool. I can get that DoorDash. But sometimes you do be want to sit down. <laughs> y'all, and then another thing. Be packed, though. Another thing too. Y'all think somebody be all bougie and all that kind of stuff? Do you know when I was back in Wisconsin, I used to go Goodwill shopping a lot, and we used to find some good ass finds in there. <laughs> so you never know what you might find secondhand. Trust me. You need to try it. It's good. Marisha house uh, editing uh, this video is gonna be up going up late by the time you see this y'all would probably already know it went up late 
but um because i got up today exercise and then i end up packing me up some clothes to um stay over here by my rich house so i'm having really really hard times breathing where i'm staying at it just it's a dog over there let's it's just so hard for me to breathe. It's making my chest and stuff hurt. Um, I have to take allergy medicine. And I left my allergy medicine, I believe, there. Damn. I don't know if my Risha got any. But, um, so right now I'm, I'm feeling so tight. I'm trying to wait it out. Hopefully I don't have to go to urgent care. But I really do feel like I had to go to urgent care. And I'm sitting up here trying to sacrifice for making a video i mean editing a video mm. but since i had took my inhaler i take my inhale i don't i don't like this yellow one now my inhaler i'm used to is red then they put me on a brooder all that blue one i don't like this yellow one it barely fit into my chamber barely and then i just took it and now i'm just I started to feel a little better. Might have to take it again. Might have to take my steroid inhaler because I haven't been taking that one. So maybe I need to start taking that one. I forgot to tell y'all. I wanted to tell y'all. At the restaurant, we went to um, Peter Jungle. We had for appetizer um, ahi tuna and hummus. That was so good. With the pita chips. That was delicious. And then me and my Risha, me and my Risha had salmon which come with spinach and the mashed potatoes. That was delicious. And then we had ordered Kai some, she ordered him some chicken. It looked like, like kind of like grilled chicken. Some chicken, he had broccoli and macaroni cheese and fruit. Now, uh -huh. I already know the boy wasn't gonna eat that. But I'm glad I got that on camera so y'all can see we do be trying, um, uh, we be trying to introduce him to, you know, different foods, but again, he would not, he would not eat that. So yes, Kai didn't touch none of his food. The only thing I think he had was um, an orange and a strawberry. That was it. So when we left there, we had to go to McDonald's to get him, of course, some chicken nuggets. And he pretty much eat chicken nuggets anywhere. So it don't matter if we're at Cheesecake Factory, Wendy's, McDonald's, uh, Cane's. If it's chicken strips or chicken nuggets, he'll eat it. But I think with that food being like a grilled chicken, he was confused because he looked at it, he smelt it, and he said no. So, I'm just saying the baby is picky. There are kids out there so picky. And I be, we be trying to introduce him to different stuff, but, you know, he'll do pancakes, waffles. He sometimes eat eggs. He real so iffy about that too. Um, but chicken nuggets is really his go-to. He used to eat pizza. He used to eat pizza. Even when they're one years old, you know, we used to cut up little piece of pieces. He used to eat that. And now the crazy part is he don't even eat pizza. Like he don't even want it. And we don't know what happened. I don't know. Do y'all do y'all got kids that's picky? The like all my kids, like all my boys. I'm just gonna say my boys was never picky. My boys eat like me. I eat anything and everything, and that pretty much they do too. Um, but my Risha was the picky one. She was a, the picky one, and every time we would go out to eat into restaurants and stuff, she would want chicken nuggets and chicken strips. If that's the only thing, like if we went the Red Lobster anywhere she be like uh do they got chicken strips i want chicken strips chicken nuggets and i promise you that baby took after her he took after her all right quick up the little shower <laughs> quick update <laughs> Girl, no don't put the... me no don't put me out there then she wants somebody on there looking crazy but then when i put her on there she bummy look at i'm missing a damn tooth well no Shit. Anyways, y'all, quick update on how I'm feeling. I'm feeling much better. I was literally tripping. Like, I was ready to run out of here to go to the urgent care. She laughing, making shit. But you know what? It What helped me a lot 
was I started talking to her. I took a hot shower. I think the steam helped me. And then I, she had me rub some CBD um, ointment on my chest. And uh, I don't know. I just started feeling better. I took my inhaler. I don't know how many damn times. I was so scared, girl. <laughs> anyway, guys, we just sitting up here watching YouTube videos. So I thought I'd just come back and tell y'all what's going on and end this vlog. I just want to say thank you. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll be notified of every video I upload. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.